a lot of favorite places down there, but it seems some of my favorite places are these bars that have these old weathered flags hanging from the ceiling. Down there, you can walk up to a bar from a beach you've just sailed into with wet money in your pocket and start a tab by the name of your boat. And one thing I love also about the islands is you can be stripped down to your basic self. And I really believe that you can find yourself, you can lose yourself, you can reinvent yourself, and no matter who you are, you can truly be as you are. one that was island boy one of the songs from kenny's new album be as you are now kenny you've said already a few times tonight that a lot of the songs on this album are like stories like about real people that you've actually met no so that. we want to know is there a real island boy oh yeah it's, that song was written about a, a very dear friend of mine and uh and it's a very true story about his life but every time i go uh to the islands i meet somebody else though just like him 
uh, somebody that walks through life at a little different pace, that um, is very, has a carefree spirit. And um, that's the essence of that song. There's a lot of island boys out there, right? No doubt about it. Including Kenny Chesney, right? (laughs) So back to Kenny, the island boy. You know, you've said very beautifully, I might add, these songs represent, quote, my pen, my heart, my life, end quote. I love that. How would you say the islands have changed how you look at your life now? Well, it's more about pace. It's um, more about um, taking a deep breath every now and then because when I'm on the road I'm a very focused very driven person and um, some would say I'm a workaholic but um, but I love what I do and I do it um, I think I do it with a lot of heart and I think I'd, I'm very like I said I'm very driven and um, but when I'm down there I just uh, it allows me to just feel more settled it allows me to feel more hushed and and um People are so used to seeing me on stage in a certain way. And um, when I'm down there, I'm so far removed from that. And uh, and it's a welcome uh, change of pace when I go down there, no doubt about it. Well, like you said, you can be a bit of a workaholic. I understand that uh, early in your career, your manager actually said to you, quote, be sure that this is what you want because I've never met a happy artist. End quote. <laughs> he did that, say that. That's quite a thing to say to somebody. <laughs> Probably freaked you out Scared a little bit. Me to death. Well, I gotta say, you seem pretty happy to me. You seem to have this balance good. I'm, I'm, I gotta assume the islands have a lot to do with that. Oh, no doubt about it. Like I said, it, it, but it's, it's basically um, the people. You know, I've met a lot of wonderful people down there with really kind hearts, and they've really shown me a different way to, to do what, to, to live, and, and to love, and to laugh, and, and um, just to enjoy my life a lot more. And, uh, and it's crazy how I, I, I really do believe that um, that kind of lifestyle can change a person's life, and I'm living proof of it. I gotta ask you what a typical day in the islands is like for Kenny Chesney. Kind of walk us through it. Well, you know, I, uh, I (laughs) live... What you can tell us, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, believe me, I like to have a good time. I really do, but um, when I'm down there, I like to read a lot. I I read a lot. I, um, but when I get up, especially when I'm living on my boat, um, I get up and um, I jump in the ocean and I get back on the boat and dry off and, and maybe put a Bob Marley CD in or a Jackson Brown CD in or whatever mood I'm in and, and watch the sun move across the sky. And, and, um, and like I said, I, I'll sit there just and let the sun hit my skin and, and read a few books and just take in the moment. You wear sunscreen, right? That's what we all want to know. I'm learning to, yeah. Take care of that boxes. beautiful skin of yours, please. <laughs> Reading any good books right now? Uh, a few. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, right now, I'm, uh, I, I got a gift for Christmas that was, um, uh, Bruce Spring, the Bruce Springsteen biography. How so cool. That's kind of what I'm reading right now. Awesome. Now, I think I know how you're going to answer this, but I've heard you say there's three kinds of people in the islands. You're either a bartender, a boatie, or a bum. <laughs> now, how would you say <laughs> you're... Somebody told me that one day. <laughs> how would your friends down there describe you? <laughs> A little bit of both. A little bit of everything, yeah. probably, yeah. I mean, one thing I used to do a lot, I haven't done it that much anymore. I, I used to go and, and uh, I got a lot of a lot of friends that are bartenders down there. Uh-huh. And um, sometimes I'll get back behind the bar with them and mix up my own little concoction and uh, <laughs> pass them out to everybody. And, All right, let's say you're making me a drink. What would you make me? Well, why not make you something really strong? <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't ask any more questions, right? <laughs> I, I've got this picture of you being all Tom Cruise cocktail, like throwing right? stuff oh, up yeah, in doing the air. And stuff. That'd be really great. Well, we know you're a boatie. We know you oh, love yeah. the boat. Yeah, I love my boat. I, I do. I, I, uh, a friend of mine told me down there one time. He goes, "When you when you have a boat, you have freedom." I never really yeah. understood what he meant until I got one. And. and uh, I don't have a sailboat, really. That's a lot of hard work. I, I, and I've, I've learned my lesson on that, but I, <laughs> I, uh, I love my boat. I, I, I swear I find my, I don't know, I feel more resolved. I feel really at peace on my boat. And I, I feel, you know, a lot of times when I go down there, uh, at the end of every tour, I, I, I'm as burnt out as anybody could possibly be, and I want to get um, far away from the music business. Mm-hmm. But it never fails that seems like it's become the most creative place for me i've got a guitar in a closet and and i'll walk past that closet and go ah, i don't want to pull out the guitar yet and um <laughs> and sooner or later i always pull it out and get on the bow of my boat and write what i see and what i feel and that's basically what this new album is is five and a half years of me doing that <laughs> 